Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon on Long Island. Great place to go to get your emergency preparedness supplies like uh, safety cans for gasoline, generators, pumps, whatever you need to get you uh, ready for hurricane season. Uh, 631-756-1125 and the website is omnitruevalue.com and they have the best prices in town uh, with the prices going up on uh, hardware. Uh, take advantage uh, of Omni True Value Hardware's prices. And we have Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. Maybe you want to do this as a business come holiday time or you just want to get your home decorated. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst on Long Island. Not too far from Omni, by the way. 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. We've got uh, just a couple of highlights here that I want to point out. Uh, the first one is the fact that we have disturbed weather in the Gulf of Mexico. And if you notice in the Western Gulf, there's a little bit of convection here. And it's got that cyclonic curvature to it. Uh, there is a low that is going to be developing here, and there's a fairly good chance that we could get a, a tropical depression or a subtropical depression out of this, and maybe eventually even a subtropical or tropical storm. It is destined to move northward and bring heavy rains to the Gulf Coast and into the southeastern part of the United States as we uh, go through uh, Friday and the weekend. So we'll be watching that. The Hurricane Center has a 90% probability of this system developing and an Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft is scheduled to uh, investigate. Uh, the other issue that we want to look at is from the Storm Prediction Center. And this is for Saturday. There's going to be a cold front coming through on Saturday. We're going to have mostly west winds ahead of it and dew points are going to be coming up for the first time in quite a while after the day, the weather we've had this week, uh, it is uh, going to be quite a change on Saturday when we have dew points uh, rising up to between 65 and 70 degrees. So we want to pay attention to this as that weather front approaches. Just want to give you a heads up, though, with respect to Saturday. Most of the day will be fine. It'll just be late in the afternoon and evening when the front approaches that we'll see uh, the chance for some thunderstorms. Back to the uh, U.S. satellite loop. And it's another gorgeous day with uh, mostly clear skies, except for northern Maine, where we're getting a little bit of moisture there, a little swirl from a storm system up in eastern Canada. Uh, we are bone dry from New England all the way down to Georgia. And I'm talking about humidity levels here. Uh, the humidity levels are unusually low. We're going to see dew points today again down in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And with respect to uh, the uh, radar, there's no precipitation uh, out there to worry about. Uh, just checking out the latest radar views here in the Northeast. It's nice and quiet. You see those rain showers up in northern Maine. Uh, also still seeing rains down in Florida. This has been going on now for the better part of uh, three days here. And there's still going to be more rain with the Dry air pushing down the eastern seaboard, the fr frontal boundary remains stalled pretty far to the south across northern Florida and just south of Louisiana. So that's where all the rain is closer to the frontal boundaries. Also seeing some showers and storms uh, this morning uh, in uh, parts of Wisconsin, down through Iowa and into uh, northwestern Missouri. <clears throat> and a little bit of rain shower activity going on uh, in the southwest uh, where they've been enduring uh, a heat wave uh, for the last several days. Now, here's WPC, the Weather Prediction Center's rainfall forecast. And we're seeing for the system that develops in the Gulf of Mexico, whether it becomes a tropical storm or not, it won't make a difference. This rainfall will still likely play out. And we're looking at a rather large area of uh, 6 to 10 inches of rainfall from southeastern Louisiana all the way up into western South Carolina. That's where the border is uh, before the rains start to taper a little bit. Here in the Northeast, now we have this chance for thunderstorms late Saturday. I think they're going to wind up being uh, scattered more than anything else unless some kind of uh, narrow line of storms forms, which is always possible. 
But the bulk of this is probably going to come next Tuesday when we have a stronger cold front. And we're looking at anywhere from a half an inch to as much as an inch of rain in total, slightly higher amounts back through the Ohio Valley and in the Western Great Lakes. And you see that the West, which has been in a drought, remains primarily on the dry side. So let's uh, take a look. We'll start, start with the, the latest run of the NAM model. Obviously, there are no weather issues for today here in the Northeast. We are in very good shape, lots of sunshine. We actually had a little reinforcing surge of dry air that moved in. I'm just running the map backwards to get us uh, to today. And uh, high pressure is the dry, uh, the center of the high is in West Virginia. It'll be moving offshore. Uh, very little, if any, precip going on except for over parts of Florida. And then you see the NAM representation of the radar in the Gulf of Mexico as a that low develops, moves northward. Uh, this uh, particular model has it probably more west than the others. Uh, on uh, Friday, the high starts to move offshore. The winds go west-southwest. It'll still be comfortable tomorrow. Dew, dew points are going to be coming up because they have to. They just can't stay this low forever. Uh, but it still be will be comfortable. We might also have some high clouds. There's a bit of a warm front that goes by to warm north. Uh, late Friday into Friday night. And then on Saturday, we'll be watching for the possibility of a cold front during the afternoon. You can see how the uh, NAM treats this. Meantime, we've got low pressure that's moved. The uh, tropical system or subtropical system uh, winds up moving inland in Louisiana and bringing those rains uh, on up further to the north. Father's Day looks great. I think we're going to have sunshine for the day and temperatures that'll be very warm, but the humidity will come down. And then we're going to start to set up the next cold front. You see that low that's up in Minnesota and that uh, tropical moisture on the GFS is much further to the east, which I think is a bit more realistic. Uh, that low is going to move eastward and Monday will be okay, but we're going to start to get into some showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday as that next front comes on by. Meanwhile, as far as temperatures are concerned for today, it's mostly mid and upper 70s, maybe a few warm spots touch the 80 degree mark. For Friday, we're going to be in the upper 70s to, to actually on Friday, we're going to be up between 80 and 85 in most places. And then Saturday, uh, with that front approaching, a west wind ahead of it, and sunshine before we get into any showers or thunderstorms, look for temperatures in a range of about 85 to near 90. And then on Sunday, we'll probably be about the same temperatures between 85 to near 90. But again, those humidity levels will be coming down. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125. For the best prices in town, omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. So uh, just keeping an eye on things here, a, a beautiful day ahead of us, the Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.30 Eastern time. So we'll be updating you on the tropics, the weekend, the long range, and anything else that is weather related. So have a great day. And I hope you've been taking the time out to enjoy this gorgeous weather, the beautiful dry air and sunshine during the day, and the nice, cool, clear nights where you don't have to run the air conditioning.